Lesson 9-4, arcs and chords. So previous lesson, we had arcs and central angles. So that's a central angle, call it 70 degrees. And the arc is this piece here. And it was also Seventy degrees. So that's an arc and a central angle. Now we start messing with chords. So make our circle. We're going to work in the same circle, but it could be in two congruent circles. Just going to keep life relatively simple for the time being. Congruent arcs have congruent chords. So here's a chord. It cuts off an arc of. 50 degrees and the chord is 10 long. So I have another chord over here that cuts off an arc of 50 degrees. We know that it's 10 long. And these are converses. So we can do this either way. Got two chords that are 10 long, we're going to have 50 degree arcs. Got two arcs that are 50 degrees. We're going to have 10 long chords. Either way, they work. So if you logic it out a little bit, get a chord here, draw it randomly. And a diameter that comes down and bisects, pardon me, hits it at a 90 degree. This is the diameter, so it goes through. We'll call it O as we normally do. We'll slap some letters around here, even though we don't need them all. It's perpendicular to that chord. Then you know that it's going to cut off the same amount of angle and is going to bisect the line. So if this is 4, this will be 4. This is 60 degrees. This will be 60 degrees. This one's pretty intuitive, so most people don't have a problem with it. be interesting if you can see why that is. It's a theorem, so you can kind of prove it if you think about it. But I'll leave that one up to you. And I would pause the recording and try these two problems on your own. Now I'll give it a shot. Look at this, we've got 86 degrees up here in the top left, and it's a 10 long chord. Well, this is perpendicular, so we know it's the same on both sides, so x is going to be 5, which makes this whole chord 10, same as this one is this one. So if it's 86 degrees here, it has to be 86 degrees here. Since we're only doing half of that, we'll have 43 degrees up here and 43 degrees down here. Circles are fairly challenging to people because you just kind of look at the problem and logic it out. There's really no process to go through that makes sense. At the same time, other people find it ridiculously easy because they look at it and they go, oh, obviously I know what I'm doing here. Now, here's a great problem. You probably don't know how to do it. Please remember the two things you want to do. Fill in some radii. Or put in some 90 degrees. This one's already got the 90 degrees built in. There's no tangent, so there won't be a uh, another 90 degree angle. But we're missing some radii. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to put it in now. It's right here. And since it's a radii, it's the same all over. It's 8 up here. It'll be 8 down here. How long is PB? We'll call it X. X squared plus 5 squared equals 8 squared. X squared plus 25 equals 64. X squared equals 39. X equals radical 39. I'm going to erase my X. Or actually, I'm just going to move it up here. This is radical 39. 
And we know that if it's perpendicular and comes from the center, it's the same on both sides. So AB is 2 root 39. That's a lot. That's a lot of skill sets. And that's where this comes in handy. I'm not sure what to do. I'm going to try and find a, a radii I couldn't see. And there was no 90 degrees. Sometimes there is, especially when you have a tangent. Let's move on. So, theorem 9-6, in the same circle or in congruent circles, keep saying that, chords equally distant from the center are congruent. What? Chords equally distant from the center distance is at a perpendicular for long for long this distance here could be anything let's call it nine then this distance here has to also be nine these are again converses so what's that saying if the chords have the same length nine and nine they're going to be equally distant from the center in this case with four and four you cannot figure out one without the other you can't just say oh four distant therefore it's a nine i'm making those numbers up out of thin air. So you just have to look at it and say, oh, whatever the distance is, it's the same on the other side. I can match them up. Again, I would pause the recording, try these on your own, see if they can make sense. Gonna have to draw in some radii here, I'm, I'm guessing. So this is three, it's perpendicular. This is three, this is four, this is X is four, this is three, this is 3. It says UV equals 6. I don't see a UV on the drawing. I'm guessing it means WT. So X equals 4. It's annoying. Looking at the one on the right. Perpendicular, same distance away. 8, 8, 8. EF is 16, X is 8. A little hard seeing these, but not too bad. The fun problem on this side would be to say, what's the radius? I hope you can figure it out on your own, because I'm not going to tell you. That's it. Good luck.